All right, people, welcome back. More Dev Pro Duel commentary. Once again, we are joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here again. Again, 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 <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, God. No one is on. I don't know why. Like, I, I, Lunar is on vacation. Stanzi's not on. No one is on. Like, where the hell is everybody? <laughs> I had freaking the live stream by myself. <laughs> yep. Like, I can't keep on calling on freaking Omega Chaos is actually going to be like fucking Omega Master in a second and how much Omega Chaos shines me. <laughs> so, once again, uh, it seems like Omega Chaos is fairly flexible, which is nice. So it's like, hey, you busy? No, not really. Like, oh, okay, join me. <laughs> well, I pretty much have no life, so, yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> So we got Fro Mage here, I believe playing uh Land Team Runner. Pretty strong deck, which is Twilight Dad. I don't think he's gonna be playing uh Dan Dad deck. Oh, looks like extra deck monarchs and Oh, didn't open up too high. Like you didn't want to chain the storm force or anything? Like Wow, wow, it's just gonna scoop immediately. Okay. Wow. No. And monarchs bricking like you, and you already knew he was gonna get a TK. Mm. Alright, well. Guess we'll go ahead and go to game two. You know what? This is looking oddly familiar. This uh, Lantern Marmel versus uh, Monarchs. Oddly familiar to uh, Lithium. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> well, plug in someone else's channel all up in my own video. <laughs> the Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! is just stale right now. Like, Yeah, it's whoa. very, very stale. Like, I haven't been playing much at all recently. Like, my channel is also kind of. Uh, yeah, not doing a lot of videos right now, but I will start doing them pretty soon, like at least after the panelist and I'm gonna start creating some more unique decks again because right now I have no real like ideas. Yeah, there's just nothing to do. It's just everything is so stale. Hopefully after Worlds, maybe like September they'll give us the list and hopefully it'll be really great and get inspiring to play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Like you guys have it lucky where you can just, you know, upload when you feel like it. And I'm just like, no, it's a job. I'm, I'm obligated to, to upload. <laughs> Plus, I really want to go ahead and reach that milestone. So, the quicker we reach that milestone, the better. <laughs> what milestone? Daily Duels 1000. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to end it or something? Yep, yep, yep. What did you think about the, the changes? Yeah, I think, I think the change is needed because your channel has been doing the same things for so long. Yeah. I mean, I guess it technically wouldn't be too much different. It would just be lowered in content change. At least Daily Duels would end. And we could do more live stream content. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just think that Yu Gi Oh! is stale. My channel is stale. Everything is just so stale. Nothing's happening. Nothing's new. <laughs> so hopefully something something inspiring happens. Like a dueling book. I hope that's real. It looks like the Monarch guy is back in the duel. He caught the Veiler on his. Uh, on his idea, so that kind of hurt, but looks like he's still gonna at least go decently strong. And yeah. we're actually seeing uh, Undyne being played, that's interesting. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, you just see Undyne. Just for extra eh? that's all that's good. Mm -hmm. Of course, you gotta get your Insta-Fusion Norden on, because Norden is fair, so... Not only are you gonna get the Insta-Fusion Summon, but you're also gonna summon your Dragoons, go into Water Monster, Detach, and then get another Search of the Dragon. That's, that's not breaking. That's not, that's not breaking. <laughs> uh, I don't like Norden. <laughs> yeah, same like, here, ah. but can't do much about it because it, it hasn't really been doing anything in the meta. So I yeah, don't actually if shocking. get banned or anything at this. Yeah. Like, if he, if he got I, banned I, in the next list, I'd be so happy. Like, they were just like, let's copy the LCG and ban Norden. I'd be like, yay! Because <laughs> I do not like Norden at all. He's such an enabler that it's not even funny. <laughs> like, you literally just play Insta Future for that. Like, I already think that Insta Future is a pretty powerful card. Just the fact that you can just exchange one of your spells for a monster to go into a Synchro XC play, like, that's powerful. But then you've got Norden who will summon another monster for you, and he's not once per turn? Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> and uh, I have been seeing some Ignite FTKs still. Oh, with yeah, Norden. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. And that was a triple quasar kind of play, and then the deck that takes every card out of your hand with the Omegas and the uh, the Trishula and the yep. Defusion, Refusion, Desynchro, Resynchro stuff. So, yeah, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. And so I guess TCG was like, oh no, he's fine. Because if he was fine, then OCG wouldn't have done anything more than what they, they hit, like Insta Fusion down to one. Yep. 
And then they're just like, no, and threw it back up to three. Northern Bay. Then it just the became a staple there, basically. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just surprised that it's not a staple here. I mean, I guess there's some decks. Like, I think I think the decks in the format are too diverse. I guess they are just not uh, rank four oriented, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, you've got PK, that's not really rank four. Cosmos, they, they don't really need Norden. And Monarchs, they don't really know. Like, if it, if, like, if it was just straight up, like, all fours in this format, like, if it was, like, if it was back in, like, the hot, cold era, the water fire era, where it was, like, Burning Abyss and PK Fire after Dragon Rulers and Spellbox died out, then I could possibly see them yeah. going away because then everybody would be right. Them. But right now, there's just not too many decks in the meta. Ooh, we see a powerful Mullen Glacier. That, that, yeah. that, that, hurt, that definitely hurt. I mean, I guess he did get a get a, a Pantheism, so he can banish that in search next turn. And then he's going to go ahead and grab back the idea right now. Like, I don't think he's dead. He's hurting. But in the resource, like, that Mullen Glacier play. If you can pull off Mullen Glacier, then trip two cards out of your opponent's hand. It's all about resources in this game, and you can I literally just snap two cards. Out. Oh, right, he abyss stolen. I forgot he abyss stolen earlier this turn. He went off, like... This deck is still really great. Yeah, but it's good. still a really good, really great deck. Like, I'd still put it in the top ten best decks. Yeah. The one thing that it cool. has to go second and going second in the current game is really bad. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you still got them crazy people that want to give cards to this deck. I wouldn't give shit to this deck. <laughs> And it, it 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 relies too much on Neptunus as well because it if it gets stopped you are screwed more or less. Mhm. Mm so it's like I want to go second, but then I also don't want to run the Solemn Strike and all that background shit. So it's kind of like yeah. And of course, going second, you're allowing your opponent just to allow them to go off and get set up before you. So. Mm, yep. Oh, it's give and take, but. You know, I, I still know people that, I, I mean, I still sit there and watch people's ban list predictions, shaking my head. There's still people that think that Dragoon should go up to three, and there's some people that think that freaking uh, D.Va should go up to three. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, this deck can easily kick the living shit out of you if you're not careful. <laughs> like, even if you are careful, I've seen this deck kick the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yep. it. And I believe that's it. That's it. So, what, what were we talking about? Monarchs... Tier one, fucking one match just lost to fucking to Roman Atlantis with ease. I mean, opening up shitty, that's classic monarchs, and then just getting crushed. So that was a quick. That was less than eight minutes for this freaking no. match. Rip. All right, we'll get another one. Bear right back. All right, people, we got another match here. So we got Anxiety Eddie playing. I don't know, John Maxi and Style with uh, Denclaw deck. So <laughs> if this the heroes, he dropped him. Yeah, we have Destiny here. Yeah, Destiny drew the Malicious, so we might be seeing some uh, possible uh, Red Resonator play. Like Red Resonator, Armageddon Knight, do that Ultimaya play. Because you already know that play is pretty strong. Nope, Magli Plague. Let's go. So, Val, you, are you, I would say, you really gonna allow him to take the Maxi Challenge? Like, you know, I'm gonna draw that much? Like, that's probably what you should just do. Set some back and then your turn. Let him even out. Yep. Yep. Alright. That hero lives, though. <laughs> Card is so strong. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice, but yeah. I hate paying half, half my life points for. Yeah, I mean, half doesn't mean <clears throat> 4,000. I mean, early game it does, but you can always pay half. There's been a handful of times where half has been like at the end, it's like, oh yeah, hero lives. I only got 400 life points left. <laughs> I never set Twin Twisters. It's so pointless. No, I don't. I don't set twin twisters. I don't want you to twin twister my twin twister, so I don't set it. <laughs> I'd rather twin twister you, your twin twister than you twin twister my twin twister. So I never set twin twister anymore. <laughs> Maybe just to, uh, just just destroy the pendulum scales, but that's about it. Ooh, that's what it's <laughs> Oh, this deck, this deck is strong too. It's just OTK central. But you have to no, open no, up very good. That's... Where to do that? Yeah. Your scales and all that. Yep, set up your pendulum. Yep, set up your scale, summon a nine, and kill your opponent. <laughs> yep, go ahead. Is it three, summon two, two, get the search machine, do get search, search, pendulum scale, pendulum summon nine, increase your attack, and attack for like over 10,000, mm. over 9,000, break your scouter. <laughs> kill that Armageddon in that game, GG. <laughs> 
problem is you're about to activate your search and you know he's gonna mass change into that dark law because it's dark law. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like dark law. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, how about? I did. That's fine. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, people run around. Like, free my nigga strata. It's like, why? Why free strata? You just gonna play Denk all that deck anyway. And then shut up, Mist will be limited, probably, because it's it is it, it, in Doshi Yeah. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't mind that. I would, I would, sure, I would give the strata if we put, what is it, like Shadow Mist to one? I think they have, like, Mass Chain second to one? Yes. Too? Not that that card is. Yeah, bad, it's, it, like. it's like really pointless hit, to be honest. Yeah, I guess they were sick and tired of it. I mean, they still got Armageddon Knight at one of them. Yeah. So. Rip my poor Armageddon Knight. <laughs> well, you took out your death spot too, now what? I mean, you still got plays, you still got plays. At least Dark Law affects the only one per turn. Oh shit, you gonna set up your Pendulum Scales? Summon that, uh, 9? If you summon 9, that's Yeah, basically. <laughs> Just go on the battle phase and use your effect to at least get strong enough to tackle the Dark Claw. Yep, we got the 2500. Run over Dark Claw. That's the only way to handle him. <laughs> I don't know, who do you say has the advantage here? I think the hero player has that advantage still. That's more back row. <laughs> like, Twin Twister and Mass Chain second, that was your back row? I was expecting some bombs and strikes, like, you need to get more in control of this Mass duel. Mass Chain left Malicious and uh, Plague Spray in the graveyard, so... Oh, that is true, that is true. Some Malik Plague plays would definitely be great right now. She had even just... Maybe even bust out Ultimaya if you want to. You oh, another Max Hero. Yeah, Damn. <laughs> Another Maxi. Maxi, back at it again with <laughs> deterring your opponent from playing. So you gonna take the challenge? Oh, Diamond Dude. Alright. This guy is playing just some Destiny Heroes. Diamond Dude reveals. Well, what? How oh, lucky. Nice. <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> I think I'll be drawing next turn. <laughs> Just free plus two for no reason next turn. Mm, yeah, I thought so. Oh, yeah, I mean, he got a pot of green out of it, but at least you can cast out the three and run over the two. But who's to say he won't have anything else? That's the problem. You allowed him to draw. <laughs> He's gonna go ahead and put the effect on two, so now he has a 2,000 booty enough to survive. Yeah, I guess. That's pretty much it, so it's in background in your turn. God, the, the Maxis though, they just put in so much work. It's like, nah, Maxi, Maxi, you're not gonna do anything. Because you could've went to Ultima, you could've went Plague, and then went to Coral Dragon, and with the Mali, went to Ultima, just had a card going to Crystal Mess, like, and we already have yeah, a Crystal Mess. Yeah, it's very nice. Even though he lost. Spoiler alert. <laughs> did you see the latest oh, episode? What? Yeah, I did see it. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't like her deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> <laughs> Sacky ass piece of shit deck. <laughs> All right, another eccentric. God, this man is just getting everything to handle this situation. The eccentric clear up your back row again? I didn't even know they play eccentric like that, but I guess it's not terrible. Wow, pop that land, please. You don't need it. <laughs> wow. Love us. Love? Love? Just love. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> it's a dark hole. It's power. He gets a nice powerful meter, <laughs> too. Lord Board of Desire as well. Yep, yeah, some see it as a staple, but I don't think I agree with if that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I kind of wish they just had the rule where you can't look at the cards just to make it more hurtful to play it, but then they're like, well, 
they don't want to do illegal plays in the irreparable game states like that. So they want to make sure that you can check the cards. That way you don't be like, all right, play this. Oh, I don't know what cards are banished. Let me go ahead and play Rota, you know. That, I think that would happen all the time. They, they would be yeah, over I don't think simple plus one is really worth that. <laughs> Such a high cost of potentially losing your key cards. Mm -hmm. It might be game. That's it, people. Just attack, 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 attack game. Unless he has some kind of hand trap to block the attack, but no one's really playing hand trap like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fan of it. You probably won't be, you won't be seeing me. Yeah, same here. And it's too expensive for, sure. for me anyway. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's at least fifty dollars right now. No, no. <laughs> for a playset? No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, I guess we'll go ahead and move on to game two. Alright, yep. cool. game two. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that it's just the, the maxis were hindering the royal explosiveness of his... Of his oh, did play. that and hero player no chose to go second? That's kind of unusual. Yeah, yeah, it really is <laughs> unusual. I guess he's like, I'd rather go second and not get killed by the desktop player. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. It seems like you want to go first, get set up, and drop that dark law as soon as possible. Uh, another desktop player. Okay. Yeah, he's playing that combo. Yep, yep. Knew it. Yeah, that combo is so good. It's stupid. Fucking Ultimaya is so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, it reminds me so much of Patola Maya, so it is even funny doing plays. It's not supposed to be doing that. The cost of summoning with Tamara is pretty That's high. That's not how you go into Infinity. Like, have to use like, at least like two, level five, whatever, six monsters for it. So, just throwing freaking Gofu or Labradite Dragon, or that freaking level 8, like, because of that level 8 normal Dragon Tuner monster, now Blue Eyes can go into Ultimaya too? I mean, they can already go into Crystal Meth, but now they can have another method going into Crystal Meth? Like, come on. Come on, all they have to do is just throw one of them tuners in. So, do you want to ban Ultimaya or something? Oh, yeah, I would love Ultimaya ban. Like I said, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised. And a year from now, whether it be O C G or T C, I think Ultimate is gonna get banned. Wow, you're gonna you're gonna get him pissed in Uh What did he send? Oh, he sent Nelly. Crypto Trim Twister. Mm. It's just it's just not a proper card. It's just not healthy. You're not properly summoning monsters. It's just like Ptolemyos. And if you want to summon frickin' Crystal Meth properly, more power to you. It's a strong card. You've earned it. But if you're just gonna be like, I said a card. Crystal Meth. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Like, Crystal Meth is way too powerful for Monster to be squatting in yeah, just a so. set card. And then look how simple it is to, like, <laughs> Ultimaya. Like, you get two cards. You get an Armageddon Knight slash Dark Breath for plus a, reson a Red Resonator. and Resonator card. Coral Dragon, send the Mally. There you go. Done. And you get to draw off the freaking card. Oh. Hello? Freaking Melvin! Oh my god. So unprofessional. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna okay. pause it. You keep them entertained. I'm gonna go handle this. <laughs> okay, so instant vision activate. What the fuck? <laughs> of course, Nordan. Very obvious. Another probably going for another level six synchro. Probably. Ugh, motherfucker. He leaves with oh. a lock shock on, he's not even at home. He already left. <sighs> oh, so, uh, he said a card to summon Crystal Meth, which isn't, which is fucking broken and not fair. And then he, of course, activated Insta Fusion for the Northern Enabling place. Like, what's that okay, nice thing now, Charles Warrior. Mm-hmm. And draw a card. Is he, I think he's at a, I think he's at a Mali place. Yeah, he's on that. Yeah. Right now. So is that it? Yep. Look at that. It's like is that, is that that's what Ultima reads, right? You can uh, uh once per turn when you set a spell or trap, you can special summon one ulti. You can special summon one. You pretty much anything, any level six, so that's fine. 
<laughs> no, I guess that's what mostly <laughs> mostly summoned. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You can even, even summon Ignister if you have a <laughs> player pendulum based. Void Ogre. And I'm the so broken. So broken. <laughs> yep. Summon Ignister. Look at that. All to my you you need to go away. Well the thing is, is that none of the meta with. decks played the title of I saw for maybe like, like exotic monarchs. But that's about it. It's gonna evolve into it. Especially, I don't know what ABC can do. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> and their infinity dot deck. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, just throw on Gofu. That's really all you need to do. Don't go for you. Already play a five. Nah, I've seen it. I've seen the Gofu brilliant fusion freaking plays. <laughs> seven Gofu, uh, seven Seraphonite, Gofu. Swamp Scolding. Oh, and the lights. Oh. <laughs> Screw. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> I guess you shouldn't have said two. Wow. That scolding will have been live. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have no idea what that other set card is. Maybe like a twin twister or something. Like I'm kind of. I don't know. What? But damn. Oh, it's a strike. I guess you were hoping to strike and then scolding. But instead, he got wrecked. <laughs> Strike and scolding. Fuck the life points. It's all about stopping your opponent's play. <laughs> Strike and scolding. Wow. Yeah, three cards. How are you gonna handle this situation? Again, the Red Resonator? Mm, I think these decks only play like one Ultima, so. Going to Coral I don't think that play is going to happen again. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the quick way to special summon Shadow Miss. And I do this play in my Destiny or pull in my back, except I don't run any mass trains because Shadow Miss is in there for. I would even even playing any fusions in there. I that back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What about that uh, other one? Um, that two other ones? And Dragoon. Uh, I'm not running the one that burns because I don't care about him, but I am running the level 6 guy so I can send and do possibly do some uh, uh, rank 6 plays. Yeah, Dystopia, yeah, yeah. Dystopia guy or something like that? Then I, I forgot the other one, the level 6 one. No yeah, I guess the Destiny Heroes need no better talk about him, really. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Because, I mean, using Endragoon from back in 2007 is kind of sad. <laughs> so, when the Corn Dragon pitched the card and popped the monster, hit for 24, that's a fine play. Get to search. What does Coral Dragon say? Just say when it's sent to group here, when it's destroyed. The Synchro Summon card is set from the field to the graveyard. Draw a card. Alright, so. It has that beautiful F. Mm, that that card again. Me. Yep. Yep, got, you got a plus. You got to get that plus one. I'm going to watch OCG. I'm wondering if after Worlds OCG will do something about that card. Depends. I don't know. Most of a lot more liberal than us. And they, they, I don't know, they feel like they like cards that everybody can play. And have fun with. While over here, we're like, um, no, that's broken. <laughs> yep. So go ahead and get rid of that. He still gets to draw a card. You're not out of the water yet. This duel is kind of back and forth here. Yeah. Oh, I like to summon a stronger kaiju. That works. <laughs> Oh, are you going to use Death Spot 4 to attack over the monster and yeah. summons? It's like, but you can't do any damage, right? You know, the rest of the turn and stuff. So why'd you even summon that Kaji? Like, did you just summon it just to have a beater, or... I'm kind of wondering that. Why'd you summon that? Because you could easily handle the situation with Death Spot 4. Um, so quit, anyway. Like you could do any damage. And never mind, he's just going to go. 
Wow. So just bought me Tiro, so what is that about that in the event? <laughs> Overall, those aren't some terrible duels. No, we're my clash ones always. So, thank you, Omega Cash, for joining me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Of course, we'll be back on Thursday with another Dead Pro Commentaries. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.